I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Dick Brennan, in for Maurice Dubois. First at 5, new information about the terror attacks in Belgium. CBS News has learned the deadly attack was originally planned for Easter Monday, but the plot was moved up. Meanwhile, the search is on for a new suspect, and investigators think ISIS may be planning other attacks throughout Europe. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is here now with more on today's developments. Alice? Christine and Dick, we've learned that the attacks were moved up after police captured Paris terror suspect Salah Abdeslam in Brussels last week. Security forces investigating the attacks are intensifying their manhunt across Europe. Authorities are still looking for the last unidentified suspect at the airport, the man in the hat. And they're now looking for an accomplice to the subway train bomber. Belgian media published this sketch of that suspect. He was seen buying tickets in the subway with the train's suicide bomber. The alleged bomb maker for the Paris attacks, Najim Lashraoui, thought to be the man on the left of this picture, managed to get to the airport with a suitcase full of explosives and blow himself up. Officials say the two other suicide bombers, brothers, Ibrahim and Khalid Bakraoui, had also looked into targeting a nuclear power plant in Belgium. Ibrahim blew himself up at the airport, Khalid on the train. The men are linked to alleged Paris attacker Salah Abdeslam. His lawyer spoke this morning and says his client wants to be extradited to France. Because I think this is the most important part of the, of the file, and I think his explanation, he has to give them there uh, and not in Belgium. Meantime, we're hearing from survivors. Right when I turned the corner, I heard the first explosion. Sebastian Bellin was at the airport and remembers falling after the first bomb went off. I look down and, you know, I see like massive bones just sticking out and then uh, I hear the second explosion and now that I'm starting to think about it over and over, I think that's really what saved me because I was already on the ground when the explosion, the second one went off. This man survived the metro attack and says he feels anger, sadness, powerlessness, fear and recognizes he's alive and lucky. Hmm. Two Belgian government officials tried to resign today over intelligence failures leading up to the attacks, but were rejected. It's also been confirmed that one of the suicide bombers was caught near Turkey's border with Syria and was deported to the Netherlands in 2015. Turkey warned Dutch and Belgian officials that he was a foreign terrorist fighter. Dick, Christine. Inexplicable developments there, Alice. Thank you so much. In the meantime, search continues for Americans who have not been heard from since the blast. Sasha and Alex Minkowski had just arrived to the airport to check in Tuesday for a flight to New York. They were on the phone with family when the connection was cut after the first blast. Justin Schultz and his wife Stephanie of Kentucky had just dropped off her mother at the airport in Brussels when the bomb went off. The State Department says it is struggling trying to get as much information to loved ones as possible. Many of the injured went to a, a broad swath of hospitals and trying to get information, accurate information on the nationalities uh, and the identities of these, of these, some of these injured has been tough. As they wait, families are flooding social media, hoping someone can provide some concrete information.